talking about spooks, 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 real genuine spooks, 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 spooks. No, you stop putting up your dukes. You just can't fight the them spooks. I'm cutting out of here, man. That one always manages to get me in the Halloween spirit. You're listening to Night Owl Radio. This is the Night Owl speaking. Well, well, well. I think it's the perfect time for my favorite Halloween tradition. I asked you all to submit your own personal horror stories, and I got more submissions than I thought I would. I read them all, and oh boy, do we have some freaks out there. Folks, the stories I share tonight are indeed real. So don't forget to lock your doors and bolt your windows, because there is evil in this world. And if you aren't prepared for it, well, just listen to these tales. <laughs> That was fucked up. How do you watch this stuff? I told you what happens in it, man. You didn't have to click the link. I guess my curiosity got the best of me. Wait, are you showing him that guy who kills people on camera? Yeah, those videos are creepy as hell, right? God, I love them. Not me. You got me all paranoid now. Thanks a lot. They aren't that bad, Will. I think you're just being a little bitch. Screw you. Holy shit. You guys gotta see this one. I'll send a link. I'm not watching it. Just tell me what happens. No, I'm serious, Will. You need to see this one. Watch this shit. Stop insisting I have to see these videos, Hank. Not your cup of tea? Of course not. Well, I guess it isn't for everyone. What was that? There was a loud bang outside my door. From what? supposed to be home alone right now. Oh yeah. Your mom's at a wedding, isn't she? Yeah. Maybe it was canceled or something. I'm gonna go look. Hello? Ma, is that you?
False alarm, guys. Painting just fell in the hallway. Y'all want to play some Fortnite or something? Well, come on, assholes. Why aren't you talking? What the hell? Ma? Who are you? Trevor got off. What? Hey, yo, Trev, you there? Yeah, he's not here, man. He left the chat. Says he's offline. Man, he didn't even say goodnight. His internet must have gone out. I don't know. Uh, well, you better get back on, damn it. Uh, I kind of wanted to leave, too. What? Come on, man. How often are you on anymore? I'll be on tomorrow. Relax. If you say so. Good night, Hank. Fuck you. You got on. I said I would. Nah. With you, it's a 50 50 shot. I mean, even Justin got on. What you finna play, Will? Uh, I don't know yet. How about some Minecraft? Yeah, maybe. Hey, has Trevor joined the call at all today? Nah, not yet. He's usually on by now. I'm sure he'll be on later. Hey, you know those videos you were showing us last night? Yeah, what about them? I was wondering, uh, what's the backstory behind him? Uh, what do you mean? Like, why do they exist? Why, why does he make them? Oh, uh, I guess the guy's hired to do them, or something like that. So he's a hitman? Kind of, I guess. Except he doesn't kill specific targets. From what I understand, the people he kills are kind of chosen randomly. I'm sorry, what the hell are you guys talking about? Justin, you haven't heard of this guy? They call him the duct tape man. Here, I'll send some of his videos. They're insane. Alright, bet. So this duct tape guy is hired to make videos of himself murdering people. And then he just posts it on the dark web? Brass tax. He's paid donations from his fans and he requests what you want to see him do. But it's not real, right? I mean, no way he can get away with that stuff. Personally, I think it's fake. I even put in a request for him myself a couple weeks ago, just to see if it was. Why would you do that? Well, as you said before, my curiosity got the best of me. All right, Justin, I sent a link to his page. Thanks. Oh, hey. It says he uploads something at four. Ooh, don't say what happens. I'm going to watch it later. All right. Saw movies. 
It can be done. I wouldn't have made a donation if I knew it was real. Yeah. If you say so. Come on, Justin. Stop watching that creepy shit and just hop on Minecraft. No, I... I want to finish it. You like that stuff, too? My god, y'all are mental. <laughs> Hey, Sal. Just call us when you want us to pick you up. Hurry, find it real fast. Hurry right, up, Sal. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Mon Maya. I will never forgive you. Arriva Dirt. I hate you. Call us when you find the phone. Just call us and we'll find you back. I'm never going to find you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hello? I was wondering if you could eat my dog. What? I said, I was wondering if you could watch my dog tonight, around 7 p.m. No. I'm, I'm gonna be busy. Alright, I was just...
The Yavapai County Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's help in locating a 34-year-old Utah man, Haruchika Miyagi. He was last seen on December 5th near Dewey, where he was asked to stay at a local resident's house. The resident refused and called the police. Miyagi was seen leaving in a red Mazda sedan. Dear Night Owl, I am writing this email because I love listening to your show. I know Halloween is coming up and you're looking for real-life horror stories for your show. I've written before, but I've never had my story told on the air. I'm writing again with hopes that this year, I finally make it. For over a decade, my town has been haunted by a serial killer. They call him the Marshfield Stalker. Several people have been murdered, and the man has never been caught. It's sort of an urban legend at this point. Stories are told by the older kids to scare the shit out of the young ones. Some say the killer has no face. Others say he wears a white mask. I never thought much about these stories until last month, when my best friend was murdered. He was leaving the movie theater when it happened. fingerprints or anything for that matter to indicate who did it. Word spread fast. The Marshfield stalker claims another victim is what the paper said. But this isn't why I'm writing. I'm writing because I think I may be his next target. I can feel eyes on me whenever I go out. Maybe I'm paranoid, but 
but I can't shake the feeling. What would stop him? No one's ever seen him, and no one has any lead as to who he is. So, Night Owl, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I hope my story finds you. In the meantime, I will try to keep safe. Oh, and happy Halloween. I hope you enjoyed these stories, folks. And to the submitters of those stories, I hope you're having a fine Halloween. Now midnight is upon us, and I'll be signing off. But don't fret, I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Because for me, the Halloween season lasts all year long. Stairs just to check the lock. When I heard something in the house, I don't mean a mouse. I swear they were spooks, spooks, spooks. I know they were spooks, 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 spooks. I couldn't.